This is an example of how to set up and use Juke on an Android device. The first thing we're going to want to do is bring up Juke's interface in a browser such as Chrome. So I'm going to click on the Chrome icon. Now we need to tell the browser Juke's IP address. And in this particular case, the IP address is 192.168.0.29 and you're going to want to follow that with forward slash audio.html as you see along the top bar. And for those not familiar with networking, this is essentially like a phone number for Juke. It's a number that has been assigned to it by your router and we have a separate application note on how to program your router always to give Juke the same IP address so that it doesn't change in the event of a power outage or a recycle of your router. So once I've done that, so that we don't have to do that again in the future, we're going to want to save a shortcut to our home screen. So we're going to click on the Add to Home Screen button. And rather than giving it that big long name, we can go back and we're just going to call it Juke. And click Add. So now once I've done that, if I go back to my home screen, you'll now see the Juke icon. And so in future, rather than entering that address, we just click on that icon, just like it was an app. And it'll bring up the Juke interface. So in this case, we're going to do some setting up of the Juke, so we're going to go to Administrator Settings. And we're going to enter the password. And to keep it simple, at this point, the password is always admin with an uppercase A. So you just enter that and you log in. And here you can name your zones and follow all the other setup procedures that are described elsewhere, but in this case, we're simply going to edit sources. Now when you receive Juke, it will be configured to represent itself on the network as four different AirPlay devices. Android products do not support AirPlay natively. That requires third-party apps such as DoubleTwist Pro, which we'll get to in a moment. But we're going to want to also use Spotify with Juke. And so instead of one of the sources being AirPlay or a number of them being AirPlay, I might want to change them to be Spotify instead. So now Juke 3, instead of being AirPlay, is going to be Spotify, and I'm going to hit Submit. So once I've done that, Juke will update itself. Now we're going to go to Spotify. So once I bring up the Spotify app, You'll notice along the bottom, there's a little icon that says Devices Available, and I'm going to want to click on that. So once I do that, it takes me to the control screen, and you'll see a little icon again on the bottom left, and I'm going to click that. And when I click that icon, you're going to see all of the available devices that Spotify can talk to directly, and Juke 3 is now on that list. So I'm going to click on Juke 3. So whatever plays on Spotify is now going to be played to Juke, and I'm going to start that playing. So the song is going to begin playing. Now I'm going to go back to the home screen. I'm going to click on Juke, and now I'm just going to go choose where to listen. I'm going to tell Juke what rooms I want to hear that music in. And from the drop menu in the top left, I'm going to say I'm doing it for Spotify. And so in this particular case, let's turn on the master bedroom and the master bathroom. And now the volume controls on the tablet. Now control the volume. And that's all there is to it. And so everything is done back through the Spotify app directly. So I'm now going to pause that and show an example of another alternative use, which is to use a third-party app called Double Twist Pro that will support AirPlay and let you play songs directly from your song library on your tablet. So if I click on Double Twist, you'll notice that there's a casting icon third in from the top right. That's the little circles and the rectangles. So if I click on that, it's going to show all of the AirPlay devices in the house, including the Juke AirPlay receivers. So if I click on Juke 1, now when I begin playing, it's going to start streaming to Juke 1. And then, if I go back to the Interface app, Instead of using Spotify and Choose Where to Listen, I'm now using Juke 1. And so if I go Master and Master Bathroom, I'm now playing the song from the library on my Android device. And that's all there is to it.